What's good? What it do? Y'all already know who it is. It's Mr. You. No! TV up in this mug, mug. You heard me? Hey, yo, man. Y'all already know, first and foremost, <clears throat> I want to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers for rocking with You Know TV. You heard? I salute and appreciate y'all. Word. Next, I want to thank everybody that's not subscribed. You know what I mean? Thank you for liking. Thank you for leaving your feedback in the comment section. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate and salute y'all too. <coughs> you know what I mean? Excuse me. I salute y'all too, man. For real. Um. Now, this one right here, man. We got of uh, 50 Cent Explains how his son Marquise fumbled a potentially... Multi million dollar sneaker sneaker business. What an idiot! But before I get into that, y'all already know I gotta run this up, right? Let's get it. You know. I ride around with the pistol on the side. I blow it down with the power to the sky. You we know go. you niggas gotta have what it do. Homicide. Spitting stupid reckless thoughts got me feeling hectic That's life for your ass, grow up fast Learn the ways of these streets, and he's always lurking Devil's out, we so searching Yes sir, and I'm back like cook uh -huh. You heard me? Now, 50 Cent Explains this business deal he had for this marketing plan he had for his son, which he could have been in business for himself and could have made millions himself. But instead, we know Marquise, he want to do other crap. You know what I mean? Not listening to what daddy say. You know what I mean? Mom's too busy in his ear. Now he, he ate out. You know what I mean? It's messed up, man. But, but let's get into this, though, man, because, you know, Marquis ain't too bright. You know what I mean? Let's get into this. One day I was driving through Harlem when I noticed that a sneaker store was going out of business on 125th Street. My mind immediately flashed to my son. Marquis loves sneakers. So I pulled over to see if I can grab him a couple of pairs on the cheap. Being naturally inquisitive, I asked the owner why he was going out of business if sneakers were so hot. He explained that he picked the wrong location and never got enough foot traffic to make it work. My mind started clicking. Mm, and that's, a, that's the thing with businesses also. If you're not in the right location where you get a lot of foot traffic and a lot of people's coming through and will stop in your store, and that ain't happening, yeah, you're pretty much in the wrong spot and you're going to have to close that store down and start over. You know what I mean? So that's what this guy's doing. And 50 Cent is smart for even, you know what I mean, getting close and not getting close, but getting out the car and going to see if he could purchase some of the sneakers because he had to go on out of sale business. So let's get into this, man. Say, how much do you pay for a pair of Air Force Ones, I asked. About 40 bucks, he told me. And how much you sell them for? About 80 bucks. That seemed like a pretty solid profit margin to me. What are you going to do with all these Air Forces now? I asked. I don't know, he said. Probably just stash them in my basement until I figure out my next move. i tell you what I told him. I'm going to buy the rest of the inventory from you right now at cost. The guy jumped at my offer. So yeah, I bet he will jump at the offer. Who wouldn't? I mean, yes, sir, man. But 50 crazy, man. He know what he doing, though. That's what say 50 man smart. Suddenly... I was the new owner of a couple hundred pairs of Nikes. I hatched the plan. Marquise was in Atlanta, where our new storage space was cheap. I would ship the sneakers down to him, where he could put them in a warehouse. Oh, see? 50 smart, thinking business move-wise. You know what I mean? Let's see if his son be on the same thing, though. Instead of opening up a brick-and-mortar shop, which would have taken a lot of investment, and depended on foot traffic, he could set up an internet site selling sneakers. What is referred to? Sure, cook, because they be making a killing on these internet sites, man. For real. Who has direct-to-consumer sales. 
All it would require would be for him to run the site and maybe hire a friend to manage the warehouse side of things. The idea felt like a winner. As soon as I left the shop, I called up my son. Yo, Marquise, you know how you always been fascinated with shoes? I asked. I'm pretty sure everybody's son's fascinated with shoes. Even females are fascinated with shoes. You know what I mean? But for the boys to be fascinated with sneakers like that, yeah, man, that's dope. You know what I mean? But what kid ain't, what boy ain't? My son is. He loves sneakers. I love Jordans. What can I say? That's what he loves. Thanks. Well, I just figured out a way you can afford them yourself and start to earn a little money of your own, too. I broke down the whole plan for him. I explained how it was a great opportunity that would not only support his passion, but allow him to get a nuts and bolts understanding of how business works. Exactly. This is a layup, I told him. Not too many. Like, you got it good. Like, how many, how many other parents would do that? None. None. You know what I mean? Because most other parents ain't rich like that, unless you got the rich parents that, of course, got the rich kids. Well, come on, man. You get something handed to you. Like, I don't get these little rich kids, man. Many stores get to start off with free inventory. Exactly. You could really do something with this. If you're truly passionate about sneakers, this is the time to show it. Marquis said all the right things on the phone. How excited he was and how it sounded like a great opportunity. I so I had the shoe shipped down to Atlanta. Then I never heard from him about it again. Weeks, then months passed. Mm. Finally, one day, his mother called me and announced that she and Marquis been talking. I knew it. I knew it. The mother, the mother got to him. I knew it. I knew it. Don't it always happen like that? Mother always get to him. I guess he a little mama's boy, so he don't listen to mommy. Instead of an online sneaker store, they wanted to open a clothing boutique in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. The plan I envisioned didn't include her. I wanted our son to learn how to be responsible for himself. But no, she got to be involved with it because she's greedy. His mom's is super greedy. You know what I mean? Like I know some greedy moms over money, but his mom's super greedy. Like, come on, man. By injecting herself into the mix, she was just trying to keep him a boy a little longer. I yep, still wanted Marquise true. to get some experience, so I said, sure, let me know when you guys want to do something. But of course, their boutique never went anywhere. Of course And not. the online sneaker shop didn't either. Of course My not. issue with Marquise wasn't that he wanted all those sneakers. When I was a kid, I wanted sneakers too. The difference is that I was willing, no, make that determined, to do the work necessary to obtain them. Of course, we all had to, you know what I mean, get out there and do something in order to get what we wanted. As kids, like, come on, man. Well, as teenagers, like, my first job was at a hardware store, True Value Hardware's. Like, come on. But before that, I mean, I was out there shoveling snow to get it, man, trying to get this bread, man. I mean, it was, it was, ain't nothing you can't do to get money. Like, you get money in any legit type of way if you just put your mind to it. Word. Never enough, especially when you're rich. You got everybody up your ass. You, everywhere you go, you got paparazzi taking pictures, filming you. Like, that stuff could be stressful, but as 50 says, it's never enough, so he can deal with that. But I'm pretty sure it gets stressful at times. I'm still obsessed with feeling like I've got the hottest show or just dropped the hottest verse. Needing the respect of my peers and confirmation of sales is what keep me pushing forward. I need to feel like they're looking at me and saying, man, 50 did it again. Mm. That's what gets me high. Word. What sets me apart is I never expect anyone else to bring me those accolades. I go out each and every day obsessed with putting in the work. That will And that's the whole crazy thing about it. His son don't want to put in the work. He want, every, he want everything to be handed to him. That's, that's these kids who grew up with a silver spoon in their mouth, man. You know what I mean? Oh parents got rich for you as kids I mean, like still you grew up with a silver spoon in your mouth like come on you ain't you ain't never had no real job you never had to get no job like get out of here man these rich little spoiled kids man just getting their way that's all it is getting their way earn me whatever sort of validation i'm looking for when it comes to marquise's approach with dealing with wanting something 
the apple fell from the tree and kept rolling and rolling. Sure, Marquise never following up on the sneakers might seem like a small thing. The type of irresponsibility and lack of initiative teenagers and young adults display all the time. But it was a huge disappointment to me. Forget about being able to afford his personal sneaker collection. That online store could have ended up making us both a killing. Exactly. I know how many people are buying stuff online nowadays. And for you to have a sneaker store already stocked up with inventory already, all you do is just work on the website and stop pushing it. Come on. Yo, let, let my pops been 50 and he would have did that. I would have been on and I would have been dumb rich right now. Like, hell yeah. Like, you bugging. We had that conversation years ago. Since then, online sneaker sites have become incredibly lucrative. Goat.com yep. is valued at $550 million, while StockX.com has a billion-dollar valuation. If Marquise had followed through on what we talked about, he could have been included in that conversation. Exactly. He could but be he independently rich. To. Shit, he might be in a position to tell me to go fuck myself and my... But he didn't want to do that. He want everything to be handed to him. He, don't, he, don't, he ain't trying to get it. He's not trying to get it, man. He lazy. I mean, he want attention all the time. That's all he does, man. Like, come on, you're 25 now. Like, you could have been, you could have been a millionaire, like beyond a millionaire. You know what I mean? Fumbled the ball once again, once again. You always getting your ball taken. My money, Shame. if that's what he wanted to do. I'm sure when Marquise reads about Goat or StockX. Deep down, he probably realizes I was right. Yep. Maybe he says, why did I not listen to my father and start that fucking online shop? Or maybe he can't bring himself to say that. Of course he's I don't think not. he's accepted that no matter all. He's not going to bring himself to say that. Mommy still got a hole on him. Come on, man. A lot of ups and downs. I still have his best interest at heart. There's of nothing course, that would make son. me feel better than to see him blossom. No Grammy, no Emmy, no picture on the cover of Forbes would mean more to me than seeing my son turn into the person I believe he can be. Mm. Mm. That was the end of that video, y'all. But come on, Marquise, you gotta do better, fam. You gotta, you gotta do better. You just making all the wrong decisions, man, all the time, man. Like. You got your pops that was willing to be there for you, and you kept blowing it time after time after time. To, to, to the point where 50 don't even want to, you know what I mean, be bothered with you no more. That's sad, man. Your own pops don't want to be bothered with you. Well, hey, mommy ain't going to be there for you all the time. I hope you know that. You know what I mean? Your father was setting you up for the long run, not for a short time. For the long run, and... You just blew it. You just blew it. But I guess we'll see him again on TMZ or another tweet or something crying about how his, how his daddy won't pay attention to him and this and that, which you did it on your own. You did that, Marquise. Yes, you deserve the stupid for that one. Yes, because you're stupid for that one. But y'all already know what time it is. It's about that time for me to slide on up out of here. So, yo, make sure y'all leave y'all feedback in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this video. You know what I mean? Make sure to like and share. And, man, yo, you already know. It's Mr. You Know TV. Ow.